Well, we aren't timed here. It's only a, a dummy up. But one thing that we've got to do as well, yet again, just to explain the time that goes into setting these bikes up, when you pull stuff apart and put new parts in, things are going to be different in a you know in your tolerance range, in your end float range, shimming range, all that stuff. So we've got a breather gear here. So we've actually put a steel one in instead of the plastic. Plastic's junk. So when that actually goes in, and it does time up obviously at the end, but we have got a shim that goes on the end here. Now, yet again, it does run a tolerance of what? Uh, 10 thousandths. So obviously with a flat edge and just a, a little bit of applied pressure like it actually has a nose cone on, we take a measurement there with a the feeler gauge between the flat edge and that little, uh, that little uh, shim washer there. And it's got to be up to your, you know, at your 10,000th, so to speak. So these are just, you know, all the checks that go on. So don't think when you get parts, you just bang them in and fucking get going. There is time. If you do it right, you know, obviously we're bringing things into perspective where long-term jeopardy, um, you know, things will last, run good oil in the bikes, yada, yada, yada. So uh, we'll jump onto this now, get this timed up, and we're ready to actually start getting this together.